deep in Ethiopia's Guba Valley, not far from its border with Sudan. Engineers build the floor to the biggest hydroelectric dam in Africa. This is the great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Being built on a tributary of the Nile, it will produce 6,000 megawatts of electricity once it's completed. So this is unprecedented in Ethiopian history. The second thing is the dam has created a sense of nationalism within Ethiopians where they are saying, you know, we have never used the Nile at all for a long period of time, but now we are able to use the Nile. The dam is being built at a cost of $4 billion, money Ethiopia intends to pay by itself. The dam is part of a massive public spending program on power, roads and railways in one of Africa's fastest growing economies. In the past decade, the Ethiopian economy has grown at at least 10%, attracting investors from across the globe. Not this year, though. The economy is showing signs of a slowdown. The government recently declared that economic growth has dropped down to 9.7% from an earlier focus of 11%. This is partly blamed on Ethiopia's decision to fund the dam itself. I think it will trigger a lot of change and transformation within the region and whatever cost is uh, being paid uh, for it now, uh, the government would like to see that uh, we can bear this cost, whatever stress and shocks they create. The dam has been controversial from the start with Egypt vehemently opposing its construction. Egypt's opposition is informed by fears that the project will significantly reduce the flow of the Nile River and deprive millions of its people of such a vital resource. But the government here insists the project will have benefits beyond Ethiopia. We have friends in Egypt, we have brothers in the Sudan, uh, we have uh, sisters uh, in your country, uh, across the, the region, across the continent, across the globe. So we call it, we, we consider this project as a people of the globe project being built in Ethiopia. A grand compromise between Nile riparian countries may be too late though. An army of 8,500 builders working 24 hours a day has already completed about a third of the dam. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.